It's story time, learning through reading. Join me in this wonderful story, Reader and Ada Bruno. The Boy Without Name by Idris Shah, illustrated by Mona Karen. Once upon a time, long, long, long ago, in a country far from here, there lived a boy who had no name. It is very strange to have no name. And if you might ask, why didn't he have a name? Well, it was like this. On the day he was born, his parents were just about to choose a name for him when a very wise man came to the house. This is a very, very important boy, he told them, and I am going to give him something marvelous one day, but I will have to give him his name first. So please, don't give him a name yet. All right, say his parents, but when will he get a name? I cannot say now, replied the wise man, but remember, he is a very important boy, and you must be careful not to give him a name. One day, Nameless went to see his friend who lived in the next house. Everybody has a name, and I would like to have one too. Do you have a name you can give me? he asked. The other boy said, I only had one name, it is Anwar, that's my name, and I need it. If I gave it to you, what would I do for a name? Besides, what would you give me if I did give you my name? You haven't got anything. I got a dream I don't want. I could give you that, say nameless, but how can we find out? how to get a name and how to pass on a dream from one person to another, asked Anwar. I know, replied Nameless. Let's go and ask the wise man. Now the wise man knew everything, and fortunately he didn't live very far away. So Nameless and Anwar went to his house and they knocked on the door. As soon as he saw them, the wise man said, Come in, Nameless and Anwar, even though he had never seen them before. How did you know who we were? they asked. I know many things, and besides, I was expecting you, said the wise man. Sit down here, and I'll see what I have in my magic boxes, he continued. So the boys sat down in cautions beside the wise man, and he took up a small box saying, This is a magic box, and it is absolutely full of all kinds of names, you just see. And when he opened the lid of the box, the boys could hear all the names in it. There were all kinds of names, 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 names saying in themselves, Names saying other names, names saying names from all the countries of the world. And the wise man picked a name out of the box and handed it to Nameless. And the name jumped onto his hand, ran on his arm, and sprang onto his shoulder. And then it went into his ear and right into his head. And suddenly he knew he had a name. Uri, Uri, he said. I got a name. I'm Hoshni. Hoshni was his name. Then Onward cried out, But I want the dream that Hoshni promised me. Patient, my boy, said the wise man. And he picked another box and opened its lid. This is a box of dreams that people don't want, he said. You just stroke your head to take the dream out of it, Hoshni, and then put the dream into this box. And Hoshni did so. And sure enough, 
when he struck his head, he found that the dream came into his hand, and when he put his hand down near the box, the dream popped into the box. Then the wise man took up another box, and he opened the lid and said, "This box is full of wonderful dreams." And the two boys could see all sort of marvelous dreams inside. Wonderful, wonderful dreams. I'm going to give you one dream each," said the wise man, and then he asked them each to pick a dream, and they did, and the dreams. As soon as they caught hold of them, ran down their arms onto their shoulders, into their ears, and right into their heads, just as Hashni's name had done. And after that, for ever and ever, Hashni had a name. And the two boys, Hashni and Anwar. Always had wonderful dreams. A small boy seeks and eventually finds his own name, and is able to discard an old dream for a new and wonderful one. This is one of a series of illustrated books for the young, written by Idris Shah. Whose collections of narrative and teaching stories have captivated the hearts and minds of people from all walks of life. It belongs to a tradition of storytelling from the Middle East and Central Asia that is more than a thousand years old. Among the many insights that this story introduces to children is the idea that it takes patience and resolve to achieve one's goals. In life.